Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hi. All Hello. right. We're going to begin. Um, just let me start this presentation right here. Okay. Everybody be welcome once again. Okay. Can you see the can you see the slide? Can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, everybody. I'm going to take the attendance for today. And uh, when you hear your name, please let me know. Ana Patricia Garcia Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Benjamín Alejandro Quijada. Brenda Adriana Méndez. Present. Thank you. César Alexander López. César Alexander López. Elisa Arelí López Campos. Present. Thank you. Hugo Giovanni Pérez Mancía. Hugo Giovanni Pérez. Ahí se reportó en el chat, dicho que está enfermo. De verdad, no he tenido chance eh, de ver. Quiero ver. WhatsApp. Por WhatsApp, dijo, ¿verdad? Que está enfermo. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Ojalá no sea de gravedad. Ok, let's continue. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, it is Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Irving Hiroki. Kimura. Irving Hiroki Kimura. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo Álvarez. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Jennifer Noemi Menjibar Menjibar. Thank you. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jose Aías López Portillo. Jose Aías López Portillo. José Francisco Aguilar Torres. José Francisco Aguilar Torres. Karen Xiomara López Rivera. Thank you. Karina Yasmín Nuila Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. César dice present. Vamos aquí a agregar. Thank you. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Thank you. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz uh, Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Lisbeth Flores Muñoz. Present. Thank you. Carl, Roberto Carlos Cuellar Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Thank you. Ok. Segundo llamado para los que se van incorporando. Benjamín Alejandro Quijada López. Hugo Giovanni Pérez Mancía. 
Irving, Hiroki, Kimura, Fuentes. Janet, Jacqueline, Cárcamo. Janet, Carolina, Rivera. José, Aías, López, Portillo. José Francisco Aguilar Torres. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Okay. We're going to check attendance again later on during the class. So everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio Módulo 1. And that's me. Ivan Duñan, at your service. Once again, it's Pre-Intermediate 1, Session 12. And today is November the 24th of 2022 or 2022, as you prefer. Let's begin. So what are we going to do? OK, um, in this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán, se darán cuenta y usarán la entonación adecuada en las preguntas. It's a listening activity. Take a look. It's pronunciation, intonation in questions. So listen and practice. Aquí hay algo bien importante. Fíjense bien. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. It's rising. It goes up. Okay. This is rising intonation. WH questions or information questions usually have falling intonation. Okay. It's falling intonation. So rising intonation goes like this. Mm. Falling intonation goes like this. Mm. Okay, so rising and falling. And you have two examples. The first one goes, do you like pop music? Si ustedes se fijan, la entonación se eleva al final. Do you like pop music? Mm. Do you like pop music? And the second one, what kind of music do you like? Como que se eleva y luego cae. What kind of music do you like? That's the intonation in questions. Remember, if it's a yes, no question, it has rising intonation. It goes up. If it's an information question, it has falling intonation. It goes down. Okay? That's very important. I want you to listen to this, please. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, did you hear that? Uh, ¿Pudieron escuchar el audio? Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. So remember, do you like pop music? Rising intonation. What kind of music do you like? Falling intonation. Okay. So, me aparece un participante nuevo. ¿Quién acaba de entrar? Para agregar aquí su registro de asistencia. Hello. <laughs> bueno, veremos luego. Creo que está... No, 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 no. Bueno. Okay, pair work. Practice these questions. I need a volunteer to help me read the first question, please. Volunteer. Luz Virginia. And then Jennifer, you go for the second one. Thank you. Okay, Luz, first question. Try to read it with the right intonation. Mm -hmm. Good. Do you like TV? Right? Rising intonation. Do you like TV? Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, second question, please. Do you like music videos? Do you like music videos? Okay, there's rising intonation. No sé si soy yo, pero a las dos les escuché como que están bien lejos. O oh, están desganadas, no quieren hablar mucho. Okay. Están cansadas, <laughs> día largo. Ok, no problem. Nada más si, si se acerca un poquito más al micrófono para las siguientes o si hablan un poquito más alto, ¿verdad? Porque me cuesta un poquito oírlas. Ok, thank you very much. About the next one, I need a volunteer, please. Selma. Do you play a musical instrument? 
Yeah, that's right. Do you play a musical instrument? Rising intonation. Thank you very much. Ana Patricia and then Karen Xiomara. Now you have WH questions or information questions. They have falling intonation. That's a different story. So Ana Patricia, can you please read this question um, okay. with falling intonation? What programs do you like? Mm, let's see. You have what yeah. programs do you like? It was like, what, what programs do you like? Okay. Let's what, try. What, what programs do you like? Uh-huh, that's better. Because when you have falling intonation, first it rises a little bit and then it yeah. falls. Uh-huh. What programs do you like? Okay. Thank you, Thank you Ana Patricia. Thank uh, you. The next one was Karen Xiomara. What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Do you like? Mm -hmm. What videos do you like? Thank you. And the last one, I need a volunteer who can help me read it. Please. Jennifer Noemi. Pero más fuertecito esta vez. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you like? Do you play? Do you play? Okay, remember, falling intonation. What musical instrument do you play? Okay. Do you play? It was like, hmm. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Can you try again, please? Uh, what musical instrument do you play? What musical instrument do you play? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Just everybody remember, yes, no questions have rising intonation. It goes up. Um information questions or WH questions have falling intonation, it goes down. So you say, do you like TV? Do you like music videos? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? There you go. Okay. Next part, this is the lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants. It's another listening activity. In esta clase, los participantes escucharán un programa de TV en donde deben poner atención a los detalles de los concursantes. How does it work? This is uh, 4.8, listening exercise, who's my date? Okay, so who's my date? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Lisa like? So you have to listen, pay close attention. Okay. So who's my date? Again, listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men, look, three men want to date want to invite, okay, Linda on a date. Quieren sacarla o quieren llevarla a una cita. Okay, what kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a ver acá? You have to complete the chart. Bill, music. He likes classical music. What about the movies? What kind of movies does Bill like? What kind of TV programs does he like? Ok, aquí vamos a poner en práctica el vocabulario de principio de esta unidad, si se acuerdan. Ok, then John, what kind of music does he like? What kind of movies does he like? And what kind of TV programs? Then the same with Tony, what kind of music, what kind of movies, and what kind of TV programs? And finally, Linda, what kind of music does she like? What kind of movies does she like? What kind of TV programs does she like? I am going to play the track twice. And I want you to complete the chart. Sería bueno aquí que tuvieran papel y lápiz, ¿verdad? Para ir anotando. Um, here we go. I'm going to play it twice. Let's begin. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. 
And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Listen again, second time. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, do you have the answers or do you need to listen to it one more time? What do you think? One more time, please. One more time. Okay, no problem. One more time. Here we go. Sorry, uh, Brenda. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. 
And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay. Uh, Brenda, do you have a question? Ok, eh, vamos a hacerlo de esta manera, veamos. De manera horizontal. So, you have to tell me about Bill, the kind of music he likes, the kind of movies he likes, and the TV programs he likes. Ok, so, um, let's see. So, uh, Brenda, do you want to, to go first? No um, si... Ajá. Yes, and movies. Thriller. Thrillers. Thrillers. Yeah, that's right. Thrillers. And, um, mm. okay, como hay varios que quieren participar, vamos a dar más espacio. Aquí terminaríamos con usted y el siguiente día con TV Programs, luego Music con John, luego Movies con John y luego TV Programs, porque si no, solo cuatro personas participarían y varios quieren ahorita. Okay. <laughs> But thank you very much. Okay, Cesar, what about the TV Programs? Bill likes. Yes, uh, uh, new programs. News programs. That is correct. Thank you, Caesar. Very good. Selma, what kind of music does John like? Is jazz? Jazz. He jazz likes music. jazz. Yeah, that's right. He likes jazz. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Selma. Michelle, what kind of movies does John like? Michelle? Well, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Westerns. Westerns, yeah, that's right. Yes, teacher. Westerns, okay, thank you. Yeah, that's Westerns. And, and what kind of movies are Westerns? Westerns. Uh huh. ¿Qué tipo de, de, de películas son esas? Sí. No sé si solo soy yo, si se le escucha bien trabado todo. No sé si es mi recepción o si, lo, o si los demás lo escuchan así. Se también. le corta la señal. Ah, se le corta, ¿verdad? Ahí sí. sí. Híjole. Ok, Western, son películas de vaqueros, ¿verdad? Ok, so, um, Michelle, no sé si está todavía por acá, pero por si está, well, thank you very much. Ahí está. Se, le, se, se escucha súper cortado. Bueno, Roberto Carlos, uh, what about the next uh, category? What kind of TV programs does John like? Talk show. Talk shows. Yeah, he likes talk shows. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Jennifer Noemi. Son problemas con la señal. Ajá, así se escucha. A veces se lo escucha así rapidito y a veces bien cortadito. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Noemi. What about Tani? What kind of music does Tani like? Rock. Rock. Okay, he likes rock music. Thank you, Jennifer. Jocelyn. What kind of uh, movies does Tani like? Game show. Game shows. No, that's TV programs. But what kind of movies does he like? Does Tony oh, like? Horror. Horror films. Okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. And uh, Patricia, what kind of TV programs does Tony like? Game shows. Game shows. Game shows. That's right. Game shows. Okay. Thank you. Karen Xiomara, what kind of music does Linda like? Pop. Pop. Okay, good. Um, the next one, Sandra Serrano. Please, what kind of movies does Linda like? Comedia. Comedies. Comedies. Mm, not really. He said something else. She said something else. Let's see. Uh, Selma? Horror films. She likes horror films. That's right. She likes horror okay. films. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Elisa Areli, what kind of TV programs does she like? There are two types here. Uh, show and game show. 
talk shows and game shows. That's right. Okay, very good. Thank you. I am that pequeñín. <laughs> Elisa, is 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 he your, your brother or your son? Uh, He's my son. Ah, your son. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Let's continue. Everybody, thank you for your participation. We have to cover the next or do the next exercise. There's a conversation, then there's some grammar that we need to study, and then... Oops. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. En esta, conversa, en esta clase, perdón, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde el uso de me gustaría o quisiera para invitaciones es presentado cuando se hacen planes. Así que ahí vamos. Conversation. This is uh, section 4.10. An invitation. Okay. Listen and practice. I want you to listen, then I will need two volunteers, one boy and one girl, to help me read the conversation. Let's listen to it. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. I need to volunteer. Page 25. Sir. Whoops. Exercise 8. Okay. Jocelyn, you help me read Susan's part. And one boy, please, to read Dave's part. One man. One boy. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer la parte de Dave? Come on. Okay, bueno. Luz Virginia, entonces. Oh, José Aguilar está levantando la mano. Bueno, <laughs> vamos a darle chance a Luz Virginia. Okay. All right. So, Luz Virginia, please, you help me read Dave's part. Okay. Jocelyn, you help me read Susan's part. Please. I have tickets to the soccer. Well, soccer soccer match. Soccer match Friday night. Would you like to go? I'd love to. What time does it it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, so do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to but before we continue, this is pronounced. Uh, <laughs> that's how you pronounce it. Como para dudar un poco, dice. Uh -huh. uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, that's okay. It's just me at the stadium before the match around. 7.30. Okay. Okay, let me have the game. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you. Okay, so um, Dave says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir? And Susan says, thanks. I'd love to. Me encantaría. What time does it start? Dave says, at 8. Susan says, that sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Dave says, uh, I'd like to, me gustaría, but I have to work late. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. Susan says, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Dave says, okay, let's meet at the gate. Nos vemos en el portón principal, right? Susan says, that's fine. That sounds fine. Sorry. See you there. Okay. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? I have a chat entry. What does uh, mean the gate, teacher? The gate. The gate. 
es la puerta o el portón principal del estadio. The gate. Uh -huh. Benjamin me mandó aquí un mensaje. Ok, Benjamin. Thanks for letting me know. Vamos a poner acá en asistencia. Aprovechando. Quiero ver. Benjamin ya está acá. César Alexander. Ah, no. Ya estuve. Ya lo habíamos tomado a él. Perdón. Hugo Giovanni. Creo que dijeron que no iba a entrar. Irving Hiroki. Irving Hiroki. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present teacher. Thank you. José Aías López Portillo. José Aías. José Francisco Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Presente. Thank, thank you. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. Ok. Quiero ver si cuadran los números. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sí, estamos. Ok. Ok, so um, let's continue here. Me pareció que um, Jennifer Noemi creo que me estaba levantando la mano. Es un momentito. Yes, teacher. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Around. 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 ¿Dónde está? No lo veo. Eh, <laughs> ah, here. Around. Around 7.30. Around. Es al alrededor de las 7.30. Más o menos es ahora. Around 7.30. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. Al final de esta clase, los participantes comprenderán el uso de gustaría o quisiera en preguntas y respuestas. Veamos. Grammar focus. There is would plus the verb. Uh, plus two plus verb. So you say, for example, would you like to go out on Friday? This is an invitation. ¿Le gustaría salir el viernes? Would you like to go out on Friday? And because this is a yes, no question, you can say, yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I would. You can also say, yes, I'd love to. Thanks. I'd love to. I, apostrophe D, is the contracted form of I would. Es lo mismo que cuando usted dice I'd, es I would. I would love to, me encantaría. Thanks. And you can also say, yes, I would really like to go, or I'd really like to go. Y es cuando usted acepta la invitación. Okay, de nuevo, would you like to go out on Friday? You say, yes, I would. ¿Eh? Lo acepta. You say, yes, I'd love to, me encantaría, right? Thanks. Or, yes, I would really like to go. Me gustaría mucho. What about this? When you say no. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Y ahí para sonar educado, ¿verdad? Y para no lastimar los sentimientos de la persona que le ha invitado, puede contestar, I'd like to. Me gustaría. But I have to work late. Pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde, por ejemplo. Or, I'd like to, but I need to save money. Uh, si uno va al estadio, va a ir a gastar en comida. Peor que es cara la comida ahí. Okay, you say, I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay? La idea es no decirle a la persona, no, <laughs> porque suena muy feo decirle solo no. Le invitan a usted, would you like to go to a soccer match? Usted le dice, no, no. No, muy pesado decirlo así. Lo mejor es decir, I'd like to, ¿verdad? me gustaría. Y ya le pone una excusa después. But I have to work late. But I need to save money. But I want to visit my parents, etc. Okay. 
So, what about this? Would you like to plus the verb? Esto no está en el manual. Tampoco está en, en la plataforma. Así que esto es adicional. Veamos aquí. We use would you like to to invite somebody. And you have three examples. Would you like to go for a walk? ¿Te gustaría salir a caminar? Would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to have dinner with us on Sunday? The reply is, yes, I'd love to. That means I would love to have dinner with you. And the last one is, what would you like to do tonight? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer esta noche? When you say, I'd like, perdón, aquí, I'd like, that it's a polite way to say, I want. Mm -hmm. Es una manera más educada y más formal de decir que usted quiere algo. Igual que en español se puede escuchar feo si uno dice, yo quiero tal cosa. Como que mis deseos son órdenes. ¿verdad? No. Entonces, si usted quiere decirlo de una forma un poquito más educada, más amable, entonces se utiliza I'd like, que es como me gustaría. ¿verdad? Just like Spanish. I'd like means I would like. For example, I'm thirsty. Tengo sed. I'm thirsty. I'd like a drink. Me gustaría... Una bebida, ¿ok? Es una manera de pedirlo amablemente. Si usted solo dice, I want a drink. Bueno, tal vez le den la bebida, pero eso oye muy pesado al decirlo, ¿verdad? The second one. I'd like to watch the news on TV tonight. ¿Eh? Quisiera o me gustaría, ¿verdad? Ver las, ver las noticias en la tele esta noche. I'd like to watch the news on TV, television tonight. Let's continue. When you say... Would you like and do you like? You mean two different things. Very careful here. Aquí son dos cosas diferentes. Let's take a look. Would you like and I would like. You have this man. He says, would you like some coffee? And he says, yes, thanks. So when he says, would you like some coffee? That means, do you want some coffee? Pregunta Benjamin, ¿el would es como para hacer suposiciones o como algo hipotético? Se puede utilizar de esa manera, pero ahí estamos hablando de otra estructura llamada second conditional. También third conditional. Es un poquito más avanzado. Para estos casos, would se utiliza simplemente para ofrecer algo, para hacer una invitación, en caso que sea una pregunta, y eh, también para aceptar la invitación. O Simplemente para decir que usted desea algo de una forma eh, educada. Mm -hmm. So, would you like some coffee means, do you want some coffee? You have some more examples. Would you like to go to the movies tonight? Yes, I'd love to. It's an invitation. I'd like an orange, please. O sea, I would like an orange, please. What would you like to do next weekend? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer el próximo fin de? Ya va a ser. Ahora, es muy diferente decir, would you like? A preguntar, do you like? Esto es diferente. Es diferente decir, I would like, que I like. Example. This lady is asking her, do you like coffee? And she says, yes, I do. And she says, would you like some now? Would you like some coffee now? And she says, no, thank you. Not now. Okay. Son dos cosas diferentes. Preguntarle a alguien si quisiera algo. A preguntarle si le gusta algo. Por ejemplo, a mí me puede gustar mucho. ¿Qué? Las hamburguesas. Pero a lo mejor a esta hora ya no me caen muy bien. Porque ya es tarde. Como una y... Después ya no puedo dormir. Entonces, una cosa es lo que a mí me gusta y otra cosa es lo que yo quisiera en este momento. Jennifer Noemí. ¿Qué significa? Eh, digamos, I did Perdón, no le entendí lo último. <risa> donde dice, yes, I did love to. I'd love to. 
Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd love to is the contracted form of I would love to. Yeah. Okay. Si usted le dicen, would you like to, y luego sigue el verbo. Mm -hmm. Entonces usted pregunta, would you like to go to the movies? Usted contesta, yes, I'd love to, que es me encantaría. Esto es la forma contractada de, yes, I would love to. Ese apostrophe D es would, es la forma corta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De me gustaría. Ajá, sería, me le gustaría, le encantaría, porque está ocupando would con el verbo love, que, que le gusta a uno, le encanta a uno algo. I would love to, me encantaría. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, you're welcome. So again, uh, when you say, do you like coffee? That means, do you think coffee is good? Examples, do you like to go to the movies in general? You say, yes, I go to the movies a lot. I like oranges, but this is in general. What do you like to do on weekends in general? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta hacer? Así que mucho cuidado. Would you like es diferente a do you like. Y I would like es diferente a I like. Son dos cosas separadas ahí. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Si tienen dudas, no tengan pena de preguntar. No questions? El teacher. Ajá, ya sabía. Ajá, Sandra. Sí, sabía no que había si, preguntas. Ajá. No sé si para poder diferenciar las primeras serían como para ofrecer algún tipo de comida. En mm. algún restaurante. No sé. No necesariamente. Comida. Usted puede ofrecer comida o hacer cualquier tipo de invitación con ella. Cuando ofrece ah, comida sí, porque, es un tipo de invitación. Uh -huh. sí, pero de eso ah, le gustaría. Oh, ajá. Uh -huh. ajá. Pero no está otro. limitado, no está limitado a comida. Puede ser comida o cualquier cosa. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. Ahora, muy comúnmente se utiliza con comida cuando usted está ofreciéndole comida a la gente. Súper común. La mayoría de casos probablemente son así. Okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No more questions? Okay. Exercise time. Would you like to? What do you say to Sue in these situations? Use would like to and the words in parentheses. You want to go to the movies tonight. You hope Sue will go too. Entonces, ¿qué le va a decir a usted a Sue? Would you like to go to the movies tonight? Está haciendo la invitación. What about number two? You want to play tennis tomorrow. You hope Sue will play with you. Tiene la esperanza de que Sue va a jugar con usted. Entonces, invite a Sue. What do you say? Siguiendo el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pamela, and then Jocelyn. Um, would you like to play tennis tomorrow? Would you like to play tennis tomorrow? Okay. Or would you like to play tennis with me tomorrow? Okay, good. Thank you, Pamela. That is correct. Okay, Jocelyn, number three is yours. You've got some vacation pictures. Que es lo mismo que you have. So you have some vacation pictures. Sue hasn't seen them yet. Sue aún no las ha visto. Entonces, invítela a ver la foto. Would you like some... Um, would you like to? Uh, would you like the... some vacation pictures? Ok, solo le falta una palabrita. Would you like... Got some vacation mm -mm. pictures. Después de like, ocupamos siempre to. I like to. Ajá, entonces, ¿nos quedaría? Would you like, would you like to got some vacation pictures? 
Would you like to? Sí. Ajá, ajá. Ok, from the beginning, sí. desde el principio, veamos. Okay. Uh, would you like to see a cop some vacation picture? Ok, pero cuidado, no hay que ocupar este have got. Tal vez eso nos confunde un poquito, veamos. De donde salió esto es un libro británico más que todo, así que vamos a poner esto así, vale, para que I sean have más. I have some vacation pictures. Sorry, what's your question? Can I say, would you get some vacation pictures? Mm -mm. Would you get? No, not possible. La cuestión, la situación es, you have some vacation pictures, ¿verdad? Usted tiene unas fotos de sus vacaciones. Sue hasn't seen them yet. Y Sue aún no las ha visto. Entonces, invítela a ver las fotos. Sería, entonces Jocelyn Gabriela nos ha dado la respuesta, pero le ha puesto unas palabras de más que no tienen que ir. Así que nos queda, would you like, vamos a ver Jocelyn, one more try. Would you like to see? El que lo... Would you like to see some vacation pictures? Oh, my vacation pictures, también, ¿verdad? Would you like to see my vacation pictures? ¿Eh? No sé ustedes, pero cuando alguien me enseña fotos así, por lo general, yo me aburro. <laughs> ok, cuando alguien me dice eso, yo me quedo, ah, ok. <laughs> All right, so number four. You have an extra ticket for a concert next week. You hope Sue will go with you. Invite a Sue. Volunteer, please. Michelle. Um, ok, no sé si es así. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Um, uh, would, would you like to go to Would you like to go? Uh, concert next week with me. Okay. Would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Or simply, would you like to go to a concert next uh, week? Go? Would you like to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to a concert next week? Or would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Okay. Thank you, Michelle. That is good. And the last one. It's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella, but you have one. Okay. Está lloviendo y su va de salida. No tiene paraguas, pero usted sí tiene uno, así que ofrézcaselo. Hay que utilizar el verbo borrow. Si se acuerdan, cuando utilizamos borrow es que uno va a recibir algo prestado. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Está un poquito más complicada por la, el contexto de la situación. ¿Sería como un paraguas extra o el paraguas no, el, suyo. el único que tiene esa persona? El único que tiene usted, el que le va a ofrecer. Ah, bueno. Uh -huh. y entonces sería, would you like to borrow my umbrella? Would you like to borrow my umbrella? That is correct. Thank you, Benjamin. Y... Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Verdad que con like hay ciertos verbos que se pueden usar en ING? Pero no recuerdo muy bien cuáles eran. O sea, pues, en lugar de usar el to, eh, sería would you like borrowing my umbrella. Uh -uh. Pero no, es que hay algunos verbos que sí se pueden usar y otros que no. Pero no los recuerdo muy bien. Lo que pasa es que al usar like, usted puede utilizar cualquier verbo en ING a continuación. Sin embargo... Cuando ya lleva would like, ya no se puede. Su única alternativa es to. Ah, bueno. Ok, Ajá. gracias. Uh -huh. Aquí un ejemplo. Yo puedo decir I like dancing. Ok. Que también se puede decir I like to dance. Casi igual el significado. Un poquito ah, diferente. Lo que pasa es de que me... 
me confundí, es que eh, estaba pensando en el would you mind, que en ese sí tiene que ir en ING el verbo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí, would you mind, Sí, pero sí, esa sí, es mi, otra cuestión. my bad, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Ajá, pero si cuando utilizamos would, would like, la única opción es to y el verbo. Ahí sí. Okay. All right, just uh, let me check one thing before we continue. This is 4.13. 4.13. Now let's check. Just give me a second. Ah, Pamela, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you give uh, an extra exercise about this stuff? An extra exercise? Yeah. Mm, I can send it to you via WhatsApp after the class. Okay. Ah, because I don't have it right now with me. Tendría que buscar. I will have to, you know, go looking. Okay. So, um, after that, I want you to take a look at this. Okay. Uh, this is the knowledge check. Bueno, de hecho, aquí está el ejercicio. El knowledge check es un ejercicio sobre eso. Okay. It's over here in the platform. Exercise. 4.13, knowledge check. So the instructions are, read the following invitations and select the best response. Vamos a hacerlo acá juntos. Lea las siguientes invitaciones y seleccione la mejor respuesta. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Okay. ¿Qué nos quedaría ahí? Yes, I am, or yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Okay, good. Vean ahí, cuidado, le han puesto una tilde en vez de la apóstrofe. Ok, number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Come over means come to your house. Ok. We have to send the exercises before tomorrow midnight, right? Can anybody send me the link, please? The What link. Do you mean come over? I'm sorry? What do you mean? Uh, come over. Come over. Come to your, to my house. That's the meaning. Cuando alguien le dice usted, would you like to come over? It's an invitation to the house of that person. Mm -hmm. But only for the, for the house. I'm sorry? Only for the house. Mostly for a house. Yeah, come over. Mm -hmm. Come over. Sí, así sería. Es más que casi siempre para una casa. Si alguien le dice, would you like to come over, le está invitando a su casa. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? So, I'd like, I'd like, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I have a meeting. But I have meeting. Okay, which one is it? I'd like to work. I have meeting. I'd like to, but I have meeting. Okay, good. Number three, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Select an option. Yes, I'd really like to go. Or yes, I really like to go. Yes, I'd really like to go. Is it the first option or the second one? The first option. The first option, okay. So I me están levantando la mano, I'm sorry. Um, you have Jennifer, Roberto, and Melissa. Okay, um, let's see. Vamos a ir por quienes han participado un poquito menos hoy. Vamos, Melissa, number four. Would you like to go to a soccer match next Sunday? Yes, I'd love to, thank you. Or yes, I wouldn't love to, thank you. Yes, I'd love to, thank you. Yes, I'd love to thank you. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Roberto, number five. Would you like to watch a movie? To watch a movie on Friday night? The options are, I'd like to, but I has to work, or I'd like to, but I have to work. Is uh, I like to, but I have to work. I have to work. Okay, let's do this. All correct. <laughs> 
All right. Ahí está. El knowledge check ya resuelto. Que sigue acá. Probablemente va a tocar trabajarlo ustedes solos porque ya casi se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero vamos a echarle un vistazo. Ok. Por ahí vi que están echando la manita a Benjamin. Muchas gracias. A mí me cuesta un poquito por estar haciéndola todo al mismo tiempo. Muchas gracias ahí a los que nos han colaborado. Ok. Um, let's see, where's the presentation? Over here. Ok, so final exercise. Creo que acá podemos comenzar a ver esto, pero no vamos a terminar porque ya tengo que terminar cada a las nueve. Un poquito después porque entré un minuto tarde. So in this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Scanning for important information will be developed. Así que en esta clase los participantes leerán un artículo sobre una cantante y el análisis de lectura será desarrollado. So who is that singer? It's Cristina Aguilera. Ok. Bueno, ya vieron. Un poquito viejito el material donde <laughs> que estamos utilizando. <laughs> De hace un, algunos años, pero bueno. Cristina Aguilera. So let's take a look. I'm going to read this very quickly. Okay. Cristina Aguilera, scan the article and look at the pictures. In what year did each event take place? Event take place. So far, hasta ahora, so far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is. Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. And there's a timeline. 1980, Cristina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay, so that means she is almost 42 years old. She'll be 42 next month. So, 1988, Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Christina records All I Want to Do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. That's the name of the song. 2001, along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Mulan Rouge. 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. 2004, Christina wins the Best Female Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful, the song Beautiful. You can see Christina at the Olympics. There is Christina's first hit, Genie in a Bottle. And Christina, second from right, that's her right here, on the new Mickey Mouse Club, long time ago. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled. She's very excited, muy emocionada, okay, by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride, she laughs. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans. So what are you going to do right here? Read the article, then number these, uh, these sentences from one, that's the first event, to eight, that's the last event. Este es el último ejercicio de la sección. Sería 4.15, reading exercise, Cristina Aguilera. So what do you have to do? You just have to put the events in the right order. Vamos a tratar de hacer esto aquí súper rapidito. ¿Cuál sería el primero? Cesar. Then Melissa, then Jennifer. Okay, Cesar. Letter B, she's born in New York City. Correct, thank you. Melissa, what's number two? Melissa, no? Um, Jennifer, okay. For the first time. For the first time, thank you very much. Jennifer, what's number three? Sería 
A, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. No. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. What is number three? Okay. <laughs> Melissa, do you want to try again? Yes, she works with Britney Spears. She works with Britney Spears. That's correct. Okay, number four. Who wants to try? Number four. Que se ahí. She travels from Japan. She travels around Japan. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. What about number five? Elisa and then Roberto. Letter A, seven. Uh huh. Can you read it? Number five. ¿Cuál sería? Roberto. And number five or number six? Number five. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. And number five is she's records song for a Disney movie. She records a song for a Disney movie. Thank you. Karen Xiomara, number six, please. Permítame, teacher. Okay. Um, si no me equivoco, creo que sería she has here first. Um, very, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Su su successful, su successful song. She has ¿Cómo? her first very successful song. Successful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> successful, exitosa. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Jennifer Noemi, what's number seven? Jennifer? Yeah. Number seven, Sorry, please. Teacher. Sorry, can I leave? Okay. Sería eight? No, me, me tendría que decir cuál sigue, en orden. Ah, okay, sería mm -hmm. five. ¿Quién nos ayuda? Ya me acabó el tiempo. <laughs> ok, vamos. Ajá. Es, es? She seems at the Winter Olympic Games. Correct. Very good. And finally, of course, it's letter C. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Ok. Everybody, thank you. Los dejo hasta acá. Que tengo otra clase ahorita. Completen, por favor, toda la sección 4. Sí, la otra semana vamos, sección 5 y final exam. Ok. Ah, okay. antes de eso, por favor, aquí rapidín, rapidín, rapidín. La asistencia, solo llamo Hugo, creo que no está. Hiroki. Hiroki, no. Janet Jacqueline. José Aías. Teresa de Jesús. Okay, we finished then. Everybody, thank you and uh, see you Monday. No see class you tomorrow. Monday. Take see care. Monday. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye.